heckin' yeah, people. Person who seems to be watching. It's Thursday. You know what that means? It's Stump the Artist time. This is Roxanne, your friendly librarian slash artist located on the internet. Also located on the internet is Paul. Paul. Hey, bada bing. Bada 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 wow, that's, that's I'm walking here. That's dangerously close to being a stereotype, but luckily you are Italian, so I can't be too mad about it. It's true. <laughs> Oh boy, yes, that was... I don't know if I've ever heard you say bada bing. Bada bing. Yeah, I may be Italian, but I really don't. I'm not... I'm not much of a stereotype. Yeah, yeah. But maybe I should start saying it more often. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Give it a try, you know? Hashtag... 2021. I don't know. Yeah. Hashtag new Paul. Hashtag new Paul. <laughs> Hashtag new Paul's drag race. Oh wow, I would definitely watch you drag. <laughs> I would so watch you do drag. <laughs> I'm dragging he. <laughs> He's dragging he. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. I also just went to Andrew Dice Clay, which is, uh, you know, problematic on its own way. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. we're off to a Fuck very. A great start very great start here. Welcome to Stump the Artist, uh, where we, the artists, are tasked with creating art based on randomly randomly generated suggestions in order to uh, satisfy the evil overlords who are holding captive the funding of the library. And man, they're really clutching onto it. I mean, that's why we're here every week in this month of September, because it's Love Your Library Month, and we need that funding. Any funding that we get is doubled by the Jack Buncher Foundation this month. So we we need it and we're working hard. And I mean they, they mean they, the evil overlords don't want to let it go, but we gotta we gotta do it. We gotta do this. Gnarly fingers. Uh, they're so gnarly and also gnarled. <laughs> Alright, so today we are revisiting part of uh, our established canon, which you don't know exists because this is only our third episode. And it is the, I don't know, the the dark mascotiverse? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's complicated. It's, it's like brands. Yeah. It's, it's if the world ended and all that survived was brand mascots. Right. So it started off with, and you can you can see the 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 two mascots at the top. These are the mascots that we were um, tasked with creating. And we've got Salty of Salty Sard Snacks, who I believe is an is an otter. Is an otter or a weasel? An otter. Oh, you're. Oh yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. An otter or a weasel dressed like a clown. Yes. And it's all about those salty sardine snacks. Yes, and with with the uh, the sardine, I just I just remembered in C, which you can look closely, that it says re refrigerate. I guess on the side. I guess. I guess. Um, salty may be salty, but I think salty also might have um, I don't know insecurity maybe. Unlike, uh, unlike Spencer, who enthusiastically slams that sauce. Spencer all about that slammable sauce. It really is incredibly slammable sauce, and it might also be blood. We're not sure. I'm not sure. We're Spencer not sure. is a loose cannon. <laughs> Spencer, Spencer's unpredictable. <laughs> uh, and as a weird promotional crossover event, like a la um, KFC having like super sexy Colonel Sanders stuff. Mm -hmm. They the, uh, the evil overlords decided that we needed to make one of those and it was what we came up with was mm -hmm. the dying earth 
Um, so current apocalyptic uh, series, one last taste, where our dominated by blade, they break the flavor. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> if I try to do that, it hurts my voice because it is. <laughs> I'd have to do reverse int intonation, and that really hurts. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's just a, a world covered in ice and snow, and, uh, you know, they're traveling to bring the flavor in a world where there is no flavor. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll, have to, we'll have to read slash watch slash listen to find out yes and you know co collect the limited edition issues that they stuff inside the packages of both spencer's speedy sauce and salty <laughs> sard snacks i mean they're just really trying to hit that kind of postmodern take on brands thing i guess um yeah <laughs> And, uh... Bazooka, Bazooka Bubblegum had, had a good thing going. Yeah. And, um... The, the follow-up is that we need to populate the one last taste averse with more characters. And uh -huh. completely unintentionally and coincidentally, um, a couple of days ago when we had our previous stream, which is not filmed, you can't find it anywhere in existence, it no longer exists. Um, That's us on this one. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, Paul was, Paul was one of the players for uh, our stream of Use Your Words. And I don't remember the context. It might have been a new, like, fast food item. But it was Arby's Business Sausage. <laughs> and I said, that sounds like a Stump the Artist prompt. And lo and behold, here we are. Here we are. It's time. It's time. It definitely is time. Today, so, y'all, Business Sausage will be born. Business Sausage will be born, yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hide uh, our uh, protagonists, question mark, so that um, Paul can, can continue creating business sausage meanwhile Ooh. i will have to take up another new character i'm so excited oh yeah so do you want me do you, do you need extra information for business sausage or do you have a vision in mind i have a basic vision okay i think i'm just gonna go with it I'm just gonna go with it okay yeah all right i gotta i gotta find a food and an animal and maybe also a job I believe with erasing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been good. Mm. Undo was, there was a lot of undoing there. So, I, although I got Kiwi twice, I'm going to go with Croissant because I have an amazing image in mind. Which, which is like throwing croissants like they are discuses. And I think that would be appropriate for this um, dark, dying earth mascot verse A uh, combat croissant. Yes. Oh boy. Caterpillar? Okay, no, I, I, I can... I, I'm gonna ignore scale. I think that's how I'm gonna make that one work. Okay. Alright, well, one of the results I got for occupation was pastry chef, so de definitely... Well, there you go. Yes. Oop, that's... At least the generator's on our side. I mean... It, it tries. The good thing is that it is open to making multiple suggestions. It's not yes. not quite as oppressive as some other things are. Oh, no wonder it's all the wrong size. There we go. Oh, God. 
I feel like business sausage is already being very intimidating. Is business sausage the bad guy? Ooh. I don't hate that. And to be honest, depending on what you think of how I uh, end up drawing him based on his image, mm -hmm. that might fit pretty good. Yeah, and so I, I think um, Crescenta Pillar should be a flunky. Oh, and you know, you know what the thing about caterpillars are is that they're always hungry. That's right. They want them sard snacks. Yeah, so they... they. It knows nothing but hunger. It hungers for all. It hungers for the, snar the sard snacks. Oh boy, that's kind of... Hungers for that beanie sauce. Oh. And it will put everything on its croissants. Even if it doesn't belong on there. Because you, you think... You think... You think Spencer is enthusiastic about eating? Oh, man. You you have not seen the bottomless pit that is Croissanta Pillar. Croissanta Pillar. I love it. Oh, man. I think I, think I need to make it chonkier. It's a bit more, a bit too worm-like right now. A bit too slender, I think, to be a bit more. I'm mean, not to say that you know all caterpillars are not chonky, or th you know, but I think I think this one it needs a bit more heft to it, so it looks a little bit less like an earthworm. Noob. It just, it's all, all arms, all weapons. A lot of croissants with those arms. Yeah, I'm going to, I need to change Croissanta Pillar's hat. Because even though it is a pastry chef, it, that um, that's already, uh... I'm loving that monocle, by the way. <laughs> that's already on <laughs> Spencer's outfit, so I gotta, I gotta. Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta think a little bit. Because, I mean, business sausage is all business. We know this. All business, all the time. He wants control of every brand oh, left man. on Earth. Because, you know, and he, he talks a lot about, like, not only do I know how the sausage is made, I am the sausage! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it. I feel like that face is definitely making that laugh. built for evil laughs yeah <laughs> i should he's, he's processed for evil laughs oh yeah i'm going to okay don't don't tell the evil overlords but i am looking up pastry chef in case to see if they have their own kind of hat just... no one will no one need no Shh. no they don't okay I can get a. Uh, I will say it, uh, what I can do instead. Oh boy, that's going to stink. Is that they they use? I don't have the chef's coat on Spencer. I think it's just the apron. So you can have like a little chef's coat. Yes. Or multiple chef's coats. Uh, one chef's coat with a lot. A lot of, of sleeves. A lot of sleeves. Like, maybe even a hundred sleeves, but I'm not going to draw that many. 
Yeah, I, I only got we we only got so much time to make this brand uh, yeah, fusion. Yeah, we have happen. not been provided that amount of time. And besides, it's not it's not a it's not a centipede. It's a cat. Exactly. And no one knows how many legs they have. Yes. I mean, I imagine it's at least six. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some of this, some of this line work in. Oh boy! So this is. I don't. I don't think these two necessarily want to rid the world of flavor. No. They they want to control the flavor. I, yes, I think that's it. Is that whatever flavor is left, they want to to own it. They want to either consume it. Or subsume it in the case yes. of, of business sausage. So these two might not even get along that well. They're teaming up against Flavor Town. Mm -hmm. And not Flavor Town, because I believe what? That's probably copyright too. Yeah, I'm out of the Flavor Faction, maybe? Yeah, the Flavor Faction! Sweet, sweet alliteration. It's one of the things I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> All this and more on this episode of Stunt the Artist. <laughs> I'm try uh, really trying to give it to like have a kind of. See now it's like yeah okay. Try to give it like a like a weirdly dead eye. Something happened. It's just and it's past. It is it is definitely consumed by its hunger. That's right. And it needs the mini croissants over here. So not only is it wielding croissants, it kind of has croissant-like antennae. Like a hybrid, a, a caterpillar, caterpillar croissant hybrid. We don't know what happened to create the flavorless world. <laughs> there were some some dark stuff. That'll be our, our prequel. Yeah. Man, business sausage looking very evil. I so am... sinister. Oh man. It. Why is that a monocle? We don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. We, <laughs> we, we haven't gotten to the prequel world yet. We don't. But like, we don't even. We don't even know what's in that sausage, and you will never know. Although they speculate, evil is actually one of the ingredients. Yeah, they may be right. They may they may be right.
more like a misery meat than mystery. Oh, absolutely. I can certainly imagine him saying that in one of his speeches. In the interest of gender diversity, I will say that um, Crescenta Pillar is female. She hungry. She hungry, and you know she's also knows that it's it's her future to produce more like her. Yes. So she's very she she's just like I must, I must feed so that I may feed my brood. Populate this barren landscape. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> Sausage. I forgot the pants. Oops. I'm not entirely sure what's leaking out of Crusanta Pillar's mouth, but I'm just I'm I'm guessing it's the digestive juices that she emits when she consumes. You know, that's part of what makes her so deadly. Why well, she's so hungry? She digests fast. Yep. That's it. That's it. I will. No I will say there is a theme between the two of these, which is that they are. They have many, they can have many parts to their whole, and that, like, a sausage is often, like, full of, is, is on, it's not just a one. It's usually links, which are then separated. Yes. So there very well could be multiple business sausages that we are not aware of. Mm -hmm. Or even sausages that aren't business. Mm -hmm. the, the, yes, there, there, there could be... You know, in addition to like the you know the friendly breakfast sausage, yeah, there you know there there could be the brunch the brunch sausage or the you know middle of the night sausage, or there could just be death sausage. Ah, <laughs> uh, death sausage. Business Sausage does indeed have a pretty threatening aura going on there. Yeah, he means business. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It is unclear how many of these are legs and how many are considered arms. Because she keeps changing. There are so many of them. Metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
We, I don't know if we'll ever see her final form. I'm not sure if I want to. Those little, 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 little barbs, I guess. Sometimes they have those. We have a smidge of time. I'll try to get a smidge. A smidge of coloring down. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Clicking on things which are wrong. No. There we go. Drab. It's because I'm on my sketch layer. <laughs> well, so, I just I just followed you, and I just went the opacity way down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Whatever. It works. So you know, it's the an artistic choice which they did not discuss, but we are privy to, <laughs> is that the entire world has very desaturated colors, except for in very limited circumstances, a la the return of flavor. When the flavor is restored to the world, yes. more color appears. What is this color that's dripping out of her mouth? I don't know. I don't know if you want you to know. Say. Some some dark dark auras here. Dark creepy auras from oof croissant a pillar and business sausage. I'll just we'll do 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 a quick label there, Paul. So so we can remember. With what? Oh uh, right write down write down business oh, sausage. Business sausage. Yes. yes, you're absolutely right. Sausage. The misery meat. Uh, that's also a great name for um, a kaiju big battle wrestler. <laughs> yeah. And that's really what I was thinking the whole time you were drawing that was like their um. Um, I think, I think they're called the Plantain Brothers, the ones that are banana-like, but not bananas. <laughs> yeah, maybe business saucers could make an appearance. Maybe. We'll, we'll have our people talk to their people. 
Oh, just utterly sinister. The two villains of the of the uh, dying Earth bland apocalypse. But bland again, bland apocalypse. Bland apocalypse. Okay, that works. Bland, bland, bland again. We're taking a picture to send to management. Yes. All right. So now we have to merge these other universes. So let me just, let's just put this back up for a second. So if, we got uh, Spencer and oh. Salty there. I'm thinking that uh, I I, I think I feel like I need to have Spencer and Croissant Pillar going at it in a fight. Mm -hmm. I I think they would be the action heroes, the action characters. And, and weirdly, as as much of a clown as Salty looks, it's the brains. Oh, absolutely. I, the brains. It really, really, it's more of like um, a jester in the sense of like um, the Shakespearean jester, um, in that they are only as foolish as they appear to be. Mm, it's, mm -hmm. It is they are actually like like Feste in Twelfth Night. Only, only a fool in a certain way. Only in performance. It's, uh, the performance of being a fool belies the wisdom underneath. Because who would take a fool seriously? Um, other than people who know that sometimes you have to take fool seriously. What a wisdom in it. Uh, right, yes. The, the clowning is an act to, to remove the guard. And of course, Business Sausage sees only the act. She's only the performance of the clown. A fool. A fool. Fooled by a fool. Yes. Yes, quite. <laughs> I'm going to put this and uh, as, as a reference image. Uh, the proportions got a little bit messed up, but we'll live. So we can do maybe a scene from this universe. Once we clear out the other stuff we still have. So I think it's, it's like a tete-a-tete. A tete-a-tete. Tete-a-tete-a-tete. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know... And also on like an artistic note, it's perfect because you're drawing your characters, I'm drawing mine, you know. It's perfect, and we merge them together to form a, just a, a the perfect brand Brand, brand universe. synergy universe. Yes. It definitely will not backfire on us whatsoever. Mm -mm. Not in the slightest. All right. I'm going, this is, I, I hate it when I have, like, an extremely bold idea, and now I'm like, well, now I have to execute this in 19 minutes. Yeah, right. The picture, the picture in the head is, uh, definitely harder to actually put on slash screen. So I'm, I'm gonna do action pose Spencer here. And you can just do maybe the intellectual duel on the left hand side there.
try to depict the 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 battle croissant as envisioned more or less and it's not going to succeed but i'm going to try anyway Yes, believe it or not, this actually has some extremely well animated uh, action sequences done by the makers of Castlevania and other <laughs> Americanized anime. Just wait till you see. Mm hmm. Okay, that's what Spencer looks like. Okay. See, I gotta keep checking. <laughs> it's been a while since even we have seen Spencer and Salty. You gotta bear with us. Ah, uh, uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> no! Luckily, Spencer is, is wearing a parka, so I can hide a lot of the problematic anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can put as much salty as you want in or out of that tin can for the same reasons. Salty pretty good in both times we draw salty. I'm just going to need to temporarily pretend that uh, Spencer has a human body. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just need to get some of this anatomy in. One sec. Spencer goes abs. <laughs> not on this. Not on this one that I'm aware of. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if they've re reached the "let's make everyone thirsty for our uh, food" levels yet. Yeah, not yet. We'll get there, I'm sure. Once the youth gets a hold of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the the hope is that once this series comes out, that the fan, the thirsty fan art will just will just show up like immediately, and then they'll be like, "We made it! The viral marketing succeeded." <laughs> Simplify things. I'm gonna make it more almost like a bot left. Just a giant battle croissant. Oh yeah, that rules. Yeah, 
in addition to the throwing ones. Woo, Paul and Roxy, says Opie. Thank you, Opie. Thank you for joining us. We knew Opie would be on board. Oh, man. Yes, for the the dark food averse as I've been calling it in my brain all day. Verse. He says, I'm late, but I'm here. Ghost in the Shell still holds up. Uh, the Did you watch the movie Ghost in the Shell? The original one? The 1995 movie, not the newer one. Yeah, that's what I meant. I, I forgot that the Scarlett Johansson one existed, which is probably for the best. Yeah, let's all forget that happened, he says. Yeah, yeah, the, um, yellow face? Not, not a good move. Generally do not approve of such things. Am I doing the wrong size things again? I sure am. Let's pretend that I didn't screw up another thing. I do this on purpose. <laughs> it's all deliberate. <laughs> he says, yeah, I mean, there was a narrative reason for that. And once it was explained, I felt slightly better for it. I did hear it was something like some weird, like, fetishization. So it was written into the character. But let's, um, let's not talk about things that are bad. Let's talk about this dark foodiverse instead. Rules. Here we go. I'm not entirely sure how thick this, uh... <laughs> Can't wait for the fan art, so meta. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I I would I should be so lucky that there would be fan art for this craziness, <laughs> for this you know, this com completely unknown nonsense. Did we determine that, uh, Spencer was wearing, uh, goggles? I feel like that was established. I think Spencer is wearing goggles. Yeah, okay. To protect against the incredibly hard climate. Yes. to make it so his hat's falling off. That's how you know it's real. That's action, folks. It's action hat falling off. When my brain managed to um, spit out, I bet Spencer fights like Mugen from Samurai Champloo. And I'm like, is that even correct? And I'm like, 
I think it might be. I don't. I think. I it's... honestly, I think you might be. <laughs> I might be. I might be a hundred percent on that. Because uh, this the the breakdance style was, I believe, that character style, and that's kind of what's going on here. Like Spencer has the moves for it. Oh yeah, I'm mean, Spencer. Spencer's lanky and flexible, and fast. Don't forget fast. He's very nimble. Oh, thanks to that slammable sauce. Oh yeah, it, it, it's Spencer's speedy sauce. Y'all, it's definitely fast. All about that speed. All about that speed. Hashtag gotta go fast. Hashtag no, sorry, we didn't mean that. We don't want to get sued at the end. <laughs> okay. I have to redraw some things now that I'm using the correct pen. Heck, need a speed up. Nope, that's still the wrong one. Nice. <laughs> it is so flaky and delicious, but I will not hesitate to use it to consume you. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was. And that's okay. Diabolical. Because I'm yes, let's it was a diabolical accent. Let's go with that. I was getting a little concerned that it was getting into some weird weird places. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, oh no. It's not what I wanted. Yeah, Spencer would be good at limbo too. Oh so yeah. Oh yeah. I mean he's limbo. he ha he has an advantage yeah. with the long legs. And the fact that he can like bend over in like super weird ways. Honestly, Salty and Spencer are probably a pretty good team because I feel like they'd both be pretty flexible. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, for for certain. I don't understand exactly what Salty's shape is, but so, There's some fluidity here. I I mean, there could be some sort of symbiosis going on with the brine, where it's almost like an aquatic shape shifting kind of scenario Ooh. going on, and that that's the actual reason why Salty send, spends so much time both in the, the tin and around the tin. It's to uh, contain some of uh, their amorphous form. Again, this is a brand. <laughs> 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 we're, we're making bizarre fan art. No, it's concept art for a brand which doesn't exist. <laughs> I need to do the other sleeve. We are serious about it. We're we're super serious, guys. I, I bet if there was a physical fight between a croissant a pillar and salty, it would be it would both be like very fluid, a lot of bending and twisting of forms. Oh yeah. Where does one begin and the other end? Mm hmm Extremely sinister in that way.
Oh, we only have a couple minutes left. I'm gonna have to wrap up the rest of this uh, horrifying creature. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we'll get to color on this one, but that's totally okay. Well, I, you know what? I think we can get one color in, and it's red, and I'm sure you can guess why. Yeah! <laughs> then that's us! for the blood the tomato sauce question mark Spencer Like I forgot to do the other pocket. I'll do that real quick. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> oh buddy. <laughs> What's going on here? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We know something's going on, and it's epic. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is... This is a lot. <laughs> this is definitely Oops. a lot. <laughs> Spencer dying is Spencer feel like uh, who can say it's it's really it's we're not we're not certain what's going on here it's just it's certainly epic uh, and one more one more thing weird weird sinister drool oh man a man oh man oh buddy <laughs> There is, this is, the, the Dark Foodiverse lives on. Dark Foodiverse. With <laughs> this, you knew it could have gotten better, but it has. It, it really did. It's, it is so extremely intense. I feel like I just made things worse. There. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, there really is. With, with business sausage and croissant Croissant pillar, thank you. I keep wanting to say croissant Pete, but it's croissant pillar. There's a lot of very sinister and epic showdowns going on um, in this in this world that we don't fully comprehend. Like, why is it here? Yeah, can't fully understand it, but it's there. It's there. It is very. And all much we can there. do is learn more. Wow. Well, I. <laughs> I, 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 man, I'm a little overwhelmed, but you know, I can certainly tell that uh, Salty and Spencer, they're doing their absolute best to bring the flavor. They 100% are. They're the heroes we deserve. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In, in this, the, the desolate, icy wasteland of many tomorrows. 
they are here to bring the flavor. Let me let me deselect for a second. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Let me try to take another photo again. <laughs> I'm fine. How about you? <laughs> I'm gonna send this to our superiors. I mean, they can't say no this time, can they? They can they? We don't know. Well, it is. It has been an hour in the dark foodiverse. Why? We. Man, it's. Who, who knows where this is going? We just know that it is it is dark and desolate and a lot of tomato sauce and or blood. <laughs> will be spilled. Yes, will definitely be spilled. <laughs> it's all extremely sinister. And will it boost sales? Who knows? It we, has to. It has to. We have to do it so we can get money for... The library uh, speaking of money for the library thank you for watching <laughs> <coughs> transitions are good as mentioned before uh this is uh the national library card sign up month and also known as love your library month so please go and donate to your local library in allegheny county at www.loveyourlibrary.org and look for moon library or you know whatever other library but preferably moon and hit wing wink and your donation will be doubled, doubled thanks to the Jack Buncher Foundation, because we are trying our best to get our money from the evil overlords. Not entirely succeeding, but we, we definitely know that Spencer and Salty will be here to bring the flavor and bring joy to our dark world. Fights. Fight. Fight. Keep on fighting people. Uh, Paul and I will be back uh, next Thursday at 8 for more stuff. I have lost words. They were taken from yeah. me in the dark realm. <laughs> also coming up, I believe, on Monday, it is Mooncraft, which is Minecraft Mondays. Just hang out on Twitch at 8. On Monday, I'll be playing one of the Moon Library servers uh, for Minecraft. If you want to join them, sign up online. Same with the uh, All Ages Discord. And then uh, next Tuesday's game, which you can play along on, is Blather Round. Game, folks. Yeah. Paul, Paul you're a big fan of Blather Round, right? Love it. Love I love it. blathering around. Yeah. <laughs> He's especially <laughs> good at that. Yeah, Not so fun. much a blathering a square. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a little lore. Done not much less blathering a rhombus. Oh, don't even, don't even joke about it. Not, not, no. So. I'm very sensitive. Yes. Thank you for coming. You all have a good evening, and hopefully I will be seeing you soon. At the very least, I hope to see you next week. Bye.